everybody and welcome to another preview edition of The Magic Show. This week I'm working on a spoiler show, so I'll be brief. Let's check out Icefall Regent. Oh, dragons of Tarkir. This set has so many freaking dragons, I love it and we'll be discussing a ton of them soon in my upcoming spoiler show. But first, what's going on with this dragon? Well, he is all about the dungeon geists. This rare from Dark Ascension was obviously the blueprint for this guy, as an additional mana gets you another point of power and a second Frost Titan-esque ability. Now let's be clear, dungeon geists was a huge tournament staple. In the Esper Spirit and Delver decks of its day, this guy saw an absolute ton of play. It was in two Grand Prix winning deck lists, it was in John Finkel's third place list from Pro Tour Dark Ascension and many more PTQ and IQ winners. The ability for Blue to have a Necrotal that can essentially shut down your opponent's best creature is huge and this guy could have similar impact. I mean, yeah, they ramped into a Tarka. Let's just lock that thing down, shall we? I mean, all right, let's get more realistic. Your opponent resolves Siege Rhino. Yes, they got the Drain Trigger, but at least it's not smacking you in the head for four every turn. And with Icefall Regent's second ability, they will either have to pay five mana for that hero's downfall or delve some more for Murderous Cut and that's if it resolves. You are the blue deck after all. But back in the day, Delver decks were everywhere and this fit right in. Where would this thing go? Well, there's a little card called Shore Crasher Elemental who may single-handedly return Mono Blue Devotion to the tournament scene. When you want to go to Thassa or Shore Crasher at three mana into Master of Waves, hmm, where would you like to go for five mana? Now what do you guys think? If it needs to be said, this is a limited bomb that you should windmill slam first pick. It's essentially removal in a color that never gets it, so enjoy it while you got it. But get yourself to the comment section and let me know so in a few months you can brag about how right or how wrong we both were. Until next time, Magic players, this is Evan Irwin. Tapping the cards so you don't have to.